last week was band day and we have a full update on the event, but first. From Studio 96, located on the University of West Alabama campus in Livingston, Alabama, this is your Tiger Paws, the official weekly student newscast with all things news, sports, and entertainment. Welcome back, Tigers, to our weekly episode of the Tiger Falls Newscast. I'm Dylan Scruggs. And I'm Hannah McCatherine. And now to our first story. UWA Band Day allows high school students to perform with the UWA Band at a home game. Haley Shearing covered the event. Haley? This Saturday was Band Day, and UWA extended an invitation to high school and middle schoolers to come march with the UWA Marching Tigers. I had the opportunity to sit down with UWA Band Director Michael Tigner. So what is Band Day? Band Day is a yearly event that we hold where we invite high school and some middle school uh, band students from around the region to join us. Uh, they get to march on the field, they join us in the stands, really just getting an idea of what uh, band is in college and, and here at UWA. Why is Band Day so important? It's a, it's a good recruiting event for the band and it's good community outreach. Uh, there are a lot of these students who we hope will be here. but. Um, it's hard to know whether a seventh grader is going to come here or go anywhere else in six more years. And so it's a great, it's just a great outreach event for the community as well as recruiting. That's all about Band Day. Catch your marching tigers at West Florida's game. For Studio 96, I'm Haley Shering. The UWA Campus Activity Board hosted a silent disco party earlier this week, and reporter Joe Worthy attended the event. Joe? I'm just outside the Student Union Building where the students of UWA were treated to a very interesting silent disco party. On November 7th, UWA students were welcomed to attend the very interesting sounding silent disco party at the Student Union Building. At this event, students put a pair of headphones on and listened to two DJs directly through the headphones with no music being played out loud whatsoever. Students were treated to various different genres of music from rap to country and were encouraged to dance if they felt like doing so. While you may not be able to hear it, the students had a great time at this event. If you weren't able to make it to the silent disco party, be sure to keep your eyes open for more activities just like this. For Studio 96, I'm Joe Worthy. Spring registration has opened and reporter Summer Earl talked to students about their experiences of registering for classes. Summer? Despite what the weather feels like, spring registration began this week and students as well as professors are preparing for the upcoming semester. I spoke with students Clay McBay and Hannah Marling about their experience registering for the spring. My advising week's been pretty good so far. Uh, my advising has been really good at getting my schedule all set up and explaining to me uh, what I needed and what steps I needed to take as far as graduating. My advising week so far has been pretty good. I also asked Hannah what it was like registering for her last semester here at West. It's pretty exciting. I'm nervous, but I can't wait for graduation. Students, be sure to meet with your advisor to approve those classes for the spring and check your self-service to stay prepared for the new semester. Reporting for Studio 96, I'm Summer Earl. The brothers of Delta Chi hosted a penny drive to raise money for alumni Chad Healy. Reporter Dylan Scruggs was there to give us more information on the event. Dylan? The brothers of Delta Chi are hosting a penny drive to raise money for recently injured alumni Chad Huey. Huey was injured in a car accident and the brothers want to raise money to pay his hospital bills and help his family. Delta Chi's Vice President Cameron Wyatt gave me more information on the event. This is, event is for our needy alumni. His name is Chad Huey. He was in a serious car accident. He's paralyzed from the waist down and his family, his family really needs help paying bills since he's in ICU. Uh, you can donate by coming to one of our events through, uh, throughout, the, uh, throughout the week. Uh, we're having a penny drive Monday and Tuesday and then we're having a couple other events Wednesday and Thursday. If you've missed one of the events, all you have to do is find a brother and let them know that you want to donate to Chad Huey and just give them whatever money you, you're willing to give. For more information on the events and ways to help the Huey family, please email Cameron Wyatt at wyattc5042 at uwa.edu. Reporting for Studio 96, I'm Dylan Scruggs. Now let's head over to Grace Self in the Zone Sports Corner for this week's Zone Sports Update. Grace. Welcome to this week's Zone Sports Corner Updates. I'm Grace Self. We start with the women's soccer. The Tigers will move on from regular season to postseason after a win against the Alabama Huntsville Chargers. After much excitement, the Tigers are ready for what's to come next. The women's finished with a 12-4-1 record and 10-2-1 in the GSC. The Tigers set a new program mark for conference wins in a season. The West Alabama Tigers are set to play Tuesday, November 12th at the Tiger Stadium. Come support these Tigers as the match starts at 1.30 p.m. The University of West Alabama men's soccer team season comes to a close 
after another tie against the UAH Chargers on November 8th. The Tigers had a great season, finished with a 4-8-4 overall record and a 2-5-4 record in the GSC. On to volleyball. After a hard-fought match, the Tigers fall to the West Florida Argos fr Friday, November 8th. The UWA record is dropped down to a 10-20 overall and a 4-10 in the GSC. The top performers during the match were Lee Colts and Allie Craig. Colts had an outstanding game and finished just shy of the UW re UWA record book with eight total blocks with six blocks assists, while Craig had five total blocks for the match. The Tigers continue towards the fight for a chance to play in the GSC tournament as they are set on the road for Valdosta State starting at 5 p.m. Watch the game live on the UWA Athletics page at uwaathletics.com. The West Alabama Tigers had a fierce game against the Mississippi College Choctaws and came out on top. More on the stories reporter Coley Roy. Coley? The Tigers faced Mississippi College last Saturday and it was a big win for the Tigers. The Tigers beat the Choctaws by a score of 35 to 21. The Tigers had five players reach the end zone Saturday. The Tigers converted seven of the 10 third downs they faced on Saturday. The Tigers poured it on the Choctaws in the second half, scoring three of their five touchdowns. Jack McDaniels led the Tiger with 218 yards passing and two touchdowns. James Smith led the Tigers in rushing with 54 yards on the day. The Tigers improved to 6-4 to four on the year and 3-4 and four in GSC play. That's all I have this week, Tigers. Join me next time for more Zone Sports Corner Reports. I'm Coley Roy. Thanks, Coley. That's all I have for you this week. From the Zone, I'm Grace Self. Thanks, Grace. Now for some upcoming campus and community events. The UWA Fine Arts Department and Choir will present a British cup of tea and a taste of Christmas Tuesday, November 19th at 7 p.m. in Bill Gray's Auditorium. Admission is free and open to the public. The Sumter County Chamber of Commerce will host Christmas on the Square December 8th from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. downtown on the Courthouse Square. There will be photos with Santa, a merchant tree contest, live music, and vendors. That's all we have for you this week, Tigers. If you have any news stories or information about an event in the community, you can email details to studio96 at uwa.edu. Look for us on the Studio 96 Productions Facebook page and our YouTube channel, UWA Tiger Pulse. Be sure to tune in next time for more Tiger Pulse updates. I'm Hannah McCatherine. And I'm Dylan Scrubs, Studio 96.